Series Zero, also known as the Hikari, made its debut on the 1st of October 1964, perfectly timed with the Tokyo Olympics. Built to link Tokyo with Osaka, this gleaming white and blue train slashed journey times from nearly seven hours to just four. Incredibly, that would soon be reduced even further to just over three hours. For a country still recovering from the ravages of war, it wasn't just a train, it was a statement of technological prowess and a symbol of national renewal. At first glance, the Series Zero looked unlike anything else on rails. Its iconic bullet-shaped nose wasn't just futuristic, it was aerodynamically efficient. But the real innovation lay underneath. Unlike traditional locomotive-hauled trains, the Series Zero was an electric multiple unit, meaning every axle was powered. Running on the brand new Tokaido Shinkansen line, the Series Zero quickly became a cultural icon. With a top speed of 210 km per hour, later upgraded to 220, it was the fastest train in the world when it launched. Over 3,200 vehicles were built between 1963 and 1986, making it one of the most prolific high-speed train types in history. The Series Zero remained in service for an extraordinary 44 years. Its final run came in December 2008, when the last set pulled into Hakata Station to emotional farewells from rail fans across the country. Fortunately, the Series Zero hasn't disappeared entirely. A number of units have been preserved in museums across Japan and even overseas. One leading cab is proudly on display at the National Railway Museum in York, England, making it the first Shinkansen unit preserved outside Japan. Another cab has found its way to Taiwan. These preserved examples remind us of just how radical and ahead of its time the Series Zero truly was. The Hikari may no longer thunder down the rails, but its spirit lives on in every Shinkansen train today.